Welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. I'm Steve Martin. In this week's episode, I want to talk about another companion app for Final Cut Pro 10 that will save you a ton of time if you do a lot of interview editing. It's called Speedscriber. Let's take a look. I have a project open in Final Cut Pro 10, and as you can see, it's an interview driven project, lots of interviews, and I don't want to have to sit and listen to all of these interviews. A transcription would really help me get to the best pieces quickly. So what you want to do is select the clips that you want to bring into Speedscriber and then uh, go to the share menu and then export a master file. So now I'm going to jump over to Speedscriber because I've already exported out a clip or two. And I'm in this Speedscriber UI and I click the plus button to locate the file I've exported from Final Cut. I click open and it comes into the left side of the UI. I choose my language and I choose my number of speakers, in this case one, and you can see here I have a duration of 32 seconds. And the last step is to click transcribe. Now I should point out that the service charges 50 cents per transcribed minute. And what you're looking at here is a running total of what's left on my account and what I've already purchased. So in a sense, you're buying credit. So I'm gonna click transcribe, file uploads to their cloud, and you'll notice that it starts processing the file. Now this could take several minutes. It could take, well, a few seconds. It really depends on the nature of the interview and how complex it is, you know, how noisy it is, a number of factors. But I found in most cases that it processes the file in faster than real time. Notice it says transcribed, I'm ready to go. Double click and my transcription appears in this window. Now, depending on how many speakers you have, they'll appear in this list over here. I only have one speaker, and it's a very good idea to, to change the name. I'm type in Charles, because this name will become a keyword in Final Cut Pro, as you'll see soon enough. So what I'm gonna do is play this to hear how accurate it is. The key decisions along the winemaking process, uh, you see this time and again, plenty of science behind it, plenty of chemical analysis, et cetera. But I'm not gonna make you listen to the whole thing, but you can see it's pretty accurate. But of course, it's not very noisy. He's in a clean environment, which helps a lot uh, for the algorithm. Uh, now, I did notice a couple of things over here, tasting, tasting the grapes. This should be tasting. You just select a word and then start typing to replace it. And this one should be grape, grapes, okay? We'll play from there. Grapes and saying, yeah, this part seems ripe. Let's pick it two days from now. This part needs to wait a while. Let's one thing I wanted to point out about transcriptions, they don't have to be 100% accurate. All you're using them for is searching in your clips to find the relevant sound bites. Um, accuracy is only important if you're creating subtitles. One other feature that's incredible is I can look at this transcription and find sentences and tag them as favorites. So for example, maybe this sentence here, um, let's see. I've got plenty of analysis for that. That's a key sentence. So I can highlight it and then click the star button down here and it's yellow. So like that's a key sentence that has to appear in my story. And I can do this for several sentences. Maybe this sentence up here, I want to flag as a favorite. So I have two favorite flags and now I'm ready to export. Go to the file menu, export, Final Cut Pro 10 XML, Save that on the desktop or wherever you want to save it. Jump back into Final Cut Pro 10, go to the file menu, import XML. Locate that file, double click, and I've just brought in my transcribed interview. Notice that an event called Speedscriber is created. And if I open it up, you'll see the keyword Charles. It's created. But here's what's great if I click the disclosure triangle next to the clip, you can see these are all my transcriptions. And as I click, notice the yellow selection boundary highlights. So if I want to play just this bite, the sound bite. This part needs to wait a while. Let's come back in a day or two and retaste and decide when that's right. I got, I got plenty of analysis for that. And here's the last section. But within a, uh, a week or more in, on either side. And what's really great is remember we created some favorites. If I select favorites, that little sound bite has been favorited plenty of analysis for that. Here's another favorite. This time and again, plenty of science behind it, plenty of chemical analysis, etc. Huge time saver. So 
I want to use these pieces in my story. And I can. I could just select these little favorites and then just press E to add them to my timeline. What's also nice is searchability. For example, if you select the keyword like I'm doing here, and let's say I'm looking for a specific word or phrase, like he says science. So I type in science and notice that it brings up that clip that has the word science in it. See this time and again, plenty of science behind it, plenty of chemical analysis, etc. Let's do another search. I'll type in grape and that will pull up a clip with the word grape or grapes in it. Ultimately, it's uh, when it's picking, it's me, my vineyard manager, walking the vineyard, tasting the grapes and saying, yeah, this part seems right. I like that clip. I'm going to press E to add it to the timeline. One incredible feature is if you open the timeline index and go to tags, you'll see that all of your keywords show up in your timeline, including all your transcriptions, which means they can be searchable. So for example, let's say I'm looking at a long timeline and I'm looking for something that he says. Uh, maybe he says something about analysis. So I type in analysis. And then so there's two clips with that word in it and it automatically highlights that word and it goes right to it in the timeline. I've got plenty of analysis for that, but ultimately it's uh, when it's picking. So as you can see, if you have a lot of interviews and that's pretty much the bread and butter of what most editors do day in and day out. I, I can't imagine not having a tool like this to quickly get to the best pieces of your interviews. So Speedscriber, it's free on the Mac App Store and then you could uh, purchase minutes at 50 cents per minute and then go to town. I think I'd be very happy with it. I use it all the time in my workflow. We'll see you next week on MacBreak Studio.